Hey, good morning. We're at Luke chapter 9, verses 23 to 27 today. And here we go. Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. But I tell you truly, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the kingdom of God. Now we'll get to that last part tomorrow, the transfiguration. But here we're looking at this about the first thing that Jesus says. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Take up the cross? I don't see that too often when you drive by a church and they have a little sign out there in front of the church. You don't really often see that. Let's all take up our cross. Instead, it's kind of like, hey, come on in. We've got a free breakfast, you know, donuts and pancakes. The church is giving out the loaves and fishes. And it's not that we can't give uh, help people with nice meals. But I want you to know here, there's a part in following Jesus. If it's gonna, we're going to come after Jesus, we have to deny ourselves. And Jesus is telling us straight up. He's not, he's not hinting about it. He's not beating around the bush. He's not hiding it. He's not uh, underselling it. Hey, to be a Christian, you've got to learn how to deny yourself. We live in an age when nothing is denied, right? We see all the commercials and advertisements, you know, telling us, telling us to buy this now. You know, we need it. We've got to have that toothpaste so we can have that glowing model smile. We've got to have that car. We've got to have that automobile, that, that phone. Well, listen... We need to learn and know how to deny ourselves. It's not that all things, material things are bad. We can use things for the kingdom's sake. But we need to know how to deny ourselves. And many of us don't really know how to do it. And, and, and it's, of course it is, because you can drive down and get your fast food in 10 minutes. You know, you've got everything you need. It's all right there. Just push a button and it's there. We need to learn and know how to deny, not only deny ourselves the material things, but to deny ourselves the things that we might desire that we might be seeking out, the things that might even be good, but in moderation, help us to have that moderation. Uh, and so, friend, Jesus is telling us there's a part, there's a part of self-denial. Being a Christian means self-denial. If you're part of a church where there's no self-denial, it's not a Christian church. This is the teaching of Jesus. If you want to keep your life, you know what? You're going to lose it. And if you're willing to trust Jesus, you're going to find it. Friends, May we be fully given over to Jesus, fully trusting him, and his blessings will be with us. I'll say it again, self-denial. Let's pray. Father in heaven, our own characters, our own nature, we've built up habits, habits of just taking what we want right now, getting what we need right now, uh, indulging ourselves at any given time. Help us, Lord, not to do that. Help us to learn some self-denial. Help us to follow the teaching right here, the teaching, the undisputed teaching of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for teaching us how to be people in a, in a, in a slothful, material-focused, sensual age to learn some self-denial and be in your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and I as we do some self-denial in the total mix of our life today.